Voters are revolting against the extreme MAGA Republican policies. On the heels of Kansas voters rejecting a move toward abortion restrictions in their state, President Biden signed an executive order supporting abortion access. Women's health and lives are on the line. The president directed the Department of Health and Human Services to consider using Medicaid to offer additional reproductive health care benefits. To leverage Medicaid to support patient care for those living in states with uh, abortion bans. The White House says waivers could be used to cover travel costs for women looking to go out of state to access reproductive health care. But the waivers wouldn't pay for the abortions themselves unless they're intended to save a patient's life or related to rape or incest. The order also calls for agencies to track how abortion restrictions impact women's health. Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn says abortion is no longer a federal concern. It is important to note that with the Dobbs decision that the court, the Supreme Court, sent this issue back to the people and to the various states. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre stressed that the president isn't the only one who needs to take action on this issue. He can't only be the only person working on this, right? That's why we continue to ask Congress uh, to take action.